Welcome to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea, and in my household, there's me, my husband, and our handsome little boy. On our channel, I make simple meals using convenient pantry and freezer staples. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some short ribs, and I grilled them on our charcoal grill. So we've got some broccolini too that I just sauteed and seasoned up. And then I also made some fried rice. This is a fried rice seasoning mix that I used. Um, I showed this on our channel, I guess it's been a few weeks ago, and it is really good. You get three packages of seasoning mix in here, and you can use them as you can see for fried rice or udon or anything else, and they are, it's really good. And then the short ribs for the seasoning, I use this spicy chicken marinade. I don't have the uh, bottle of it anymore, but this is the one that I used. And then um, I also used teriyaki. So I used, um, so half of them are the teriyaki and half of them are the spicy chicken. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so in my freezer, I had this garlic cheese flatbread from Aldi. It is really very, very good. It is a seasonal item, so whenever they have it, I of course buy a couple of them and throw them in my freezer. So um, I cooked it according to package directions. And as you can see, I cut it into little slices and then I am serving it with some tomato basil soup that I had in my pantry as well. And this one is from HEB. I did find it a little bit thick, so I did try to thin it out with a little bit of water and milk. But this is my favorite way, one of my favorite ways to eat these cheese sticks is to dip them in tomato soup. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am going to be using this quick steak that I had in my freezer. It's chicken breast meat and it's really thinly cut. You can use it for like on the picture here, um, like Philly cheese steak. So I'm gonna be using that. Um, I went to the Asian store the other week and got these lo mein noodles. There's no seasoning in them. There's just the, no it's just the noodles. So I've never cooked these before. Usually I get the ones that have seasoning already in the packet, but I'm just gonna prepare these according to package directions. And then I'm going to use these two packages of chow mein um, spice paste that I picked up from the Asian store a while back ago. I'm gonna use um, these packets. Actually, you're supposed to use, I think it's six ounces of noodles for one package or something like that, but I'm using 12 ounces of noodles, so that's why I'm using two packets. I'm also going to use some cabbage in there for vegetable, green onions, which I forgot to pull out of their fridge, and then I'm gonna use some sesame oil and then also some of this uh, chili oil that I love so much. So I'm gonna throw it all together and then of course I'll show y'all how it turns out. Okay, so here is the lo mein and Howard and I tasted it. We're not crazy about the seasoning packets um, that came with it. They're kind of one note, uh, very savory, not much sweetness to it. And I am a savory girl but these were a little bit too savory. So I did try to add some hoisin sauce to it and that didn't really make that big of a difference. Now, the lo, lo mein noodles themselves are really good. To me, they taste like, you know, they came from a restaurant. Um, serving the lo mein with some yaki mandu. So my parents came to visit me the other week and in my parents' hometown, there is a Korean church that has a fundraiser, uh, maybe a couple of times a year. So my mom bought me some of these and um, froze them and then I stuck them in my freezer when she got here and I just reheated them in the air fryer. They already fried and everything, um, but usually they are very good and I'm sure they're going to be just as tasty. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having jerk pork. Howard actually grilled the pork today and he used this Walker's Wood jerk marinade that we really like a lot. It is so good and it is uh, spicy, has a little kick to it. I also made some rice and peas. I recorded a video on how to make uh, rice and peas 
Oh, it's been some years ago. So I'll link it in the description box. I really need to update that video though. Um, and then we are just having a Caesar salad on the side. I got this at Kroger on clearance. It's a Mexican style Caesar salad. It has uh, romaine lettuce, Monterey Jack cheese croutons, toasted pepitas, which are pumpkin seeds and shredded Parmesan cheese and a Mexican Caesar dressing. And I tried the dressing. I didn't really taste anything uh, special about it or anything that tasted Mexican to me. Um, but you know, it's pretty good. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Howard and I tried out a new restaurant, Lolo's Chicken and Waffles, and Howard got a chicken platter with three chicken thighs, collard greens, and red beans and rice. Both of our entrees came with buttered cornbread and it was so good. I also got a fried chicken platter, but I got two legs and a thigh with macaroni and cheese and sweet potatoes. We actually tried this restaurant for lunch, but since there was so much food, we didn't end up eating dinner that night, but it was so very good.